it is recorded that in the beginning, Osebuluwa created heaven and the earth. And the earth had no shape. Darkness, void, water covered the whole earth until Chukwo Kiki Abiyama separated the water from the earth. We, we, yes, separated the water from the earth using the firmament. And he blessed the earth, especially Ozubulu. Our own Ozubulu. Our own Ozubulu. We are the most blessed people on earth. Now, for us to live in peace, Ozubuluwa, that supreme deity that stays in heaven, Give us a king and a pattern of ruling. <laughs> it is about to begin. Mm. It's about to begin. Grandpa, mm. I'm confused. What's about to begin? The end of the beginning is about to begin our new beginning of living. And say Her Majesty the Queen. The Queen is in her chamber. And who told you that? I went to her room, I didn't see her. Well, the King and the Cabinet members are having the meeting. They cannot, but I'm to come to the palace. Why? Oh, son, you don't know who am I? Dozonio Bioma, of all people, so I shouldn't see the Queen. So, Dozonio eh? Bioma. Have you? Everyone knows who you are, Chie Dozie. But the thing is, an important meeting is going on in this palace, and you cannot parambule to come to the palace. That, you have, that, will, that is what you have to say before. No making me to look like I've committed a national crime. Excuse me. I will not let you. Please go in to, to the chamber. Your Majesty, we all know that tradition demands you relinquish the throne of your fathers or your successor in the next six months. What plans do you have to accomplish this tradition? I mean, your retirement so that the gods can choose another king to succeed you since you do not have a son. My elders, you all can attest to the fact that I've been a good king, that I have served my people, that I have ruled this kingdom very well. You can also attest to the fact that I have never neglected the customs and tradition of our people. So, I don't know where the issues are coming from. And I pledge to also continue to be the good king that I have been. So what's the issue here? Uh, your, your Majesty, you are right. You have been a good king to our people. But this issue of retirement is a crucial one. And it needs urgent deliberation. That's what we are saying. Very, very urgent. You need to tell us when you will vacate the throne so that Ezemo will do the necessary rituals 
to another king may emerge. This is why. What? Abu Kosi? Exactly. Exactly. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, Zoku. I got no more mad imagination, more and more. My elders, I inherited this throne from my father. As a matter of fact, from my fathers. And I am not about relinquishing it to any other family. Yes. I pledge to continue to uphold the customs and tradition of our people. But talking about relinquishing this throne, I have only one word. And that is never. May we know why, Your Majesty? Because we cannot put our future, I mean the future and well-being of this kingdom in jeopardy by making outrageous claim over the throne. Your Majesty, we all know that you are a good man. Considering what you have done for our community, we all appreciate you. Thank you. We appreciate you. <clears throat> but you should let us know what are your plans. Just tell us everything is fine. We are worried. Are we not? We are, well, worried. We are worried. We are worried. We are worried. Yeah. Uh -uh. <clears throat> um, King. May you live long, Your Majesty. Thank you. My elders are great. No. We all know that night must give day a uh, space to break. And um, I'm very much aware that all of us here have concerns and care about our community of Zobolo. And we all should know that our king, Eze Bube, is a one man in a million. We must give him that benefit of that. He knows the tradition and he knows the right thing to do at the right time. So we should not forget that fact. So let's wait for King Ezebube to finish what he had in mind. Hans, you said so. Let us all calm down and watch the king and Onu do their things. Let us see how it goes. Okay. We pray it will work out well. Good. Okay. Thank you. Um, I want to crave your indulgence, all of you, my elders, to be patient with me. And I want to promise you that I will never, ever fail you. Okay? Hey, hey. What is happening? Oh no, we're getting in there, man. Oh no, what is, what is happening? Going on here? Hey. Council of Chiefs. 
without giving them a tangible answer. No, no. I want to be left alone. You want to be left alone? I don't understand. We've always done everything together, so what exactly is going on? Gladys, could you please do me the favor of letting me be this minute? They want me to relinquish the throne. And you know that is not going to happen. Your Majesty, we've always known that someday this was bound to happen. Why are you being so obstinate? I understand the tradition of our people perfectly well. But what is happening now is bigger than you think. Bigger than I think. And what is that supposed to be? Josie, you'll be fine. That is what I've been asking myself. Josie, nothing seems to be good. Or have I wronged my chi? Josie, I don't have the time for you now. I'm trying to sort out things for the Council of Chiefs. <laughs> Onye malo, onye mi fe gemechi. Onye malo, onye makachi si kwado. Asimu onye malo, onye mi fe gemechi. Onye onye, onye makachi si kwado. You can plan all you know. Ife chikulu nya geme. You can do all you could. If it's a cool one, get me. God is not a man. Tomorrow is deep. Even in a tunnel. If it's a cool one, get me, Lily. I am a. Obodo diye. Things they happen. I am a. Everyone in Ozubolu knows that Ezebube has no child, either male or female. But he clicks on to power. Now, the elders in council, they are all suspicious. That they don't even know what is going on. Not only the elders who, even his wife Gladys, plus elders in Kansulo, plus the whole Ozubulu community, everybody is now living under suspicion and doubt. Why? What is going on? <laughs> you see, I am still wondering what King Ezebube is planning to do about this. We all know that he is a good man. Huh? Oh, he's a good man. But that wouldn't allow him to be quest and greed over power. He may offend the Oseblower and the Amadioha of this land. I wonder why his chi and ancestors. We choose to punish him by not giving him a child, despite his uprightness. We are not here to judge. Only the gods know why. Because that is his faith. But he cannot use that to punish the entire kingdom. He cannot do that. For him to refuse to step down as the tradition demands, that means he wants to use his misfortune to punish the entire kingdom. And that is wrong. 
That is very wrong. It's not danger. Or does it mean that his refusal to step down is because he has a child somewhere that we do not know? How? Where? <laughs> does the king have a wife aside from Gladys? <laughs> no, I, I don't that know. That is the question I keep asking. That will never be possible. Eze Bube loves his wife Gladys so much. And that is why he has refused to marry a second wife. Oh, he's joking. Uh, that is the reason. That's me. That is the truth. Ah, what have you said? I love my wife. <laughs> <laughs> what is good for the deed is good for the third. Grandma. <laughs> grandma. <laughs> hey, what have you said? Oh, grandma. <laughs> Let's go. Let us <laughs> oh, oh. oh, grandma. Oh, you go. world you ask that I will not do for you. As a matter of fact, I can pull down mountains for you. So why are you crying? Talk to me. Oh, have I done anything to offend you? Why has my chi decided to forsake me? Am I such a bad omen in this kingdom that the gods have decided to blackmail you with me? Oh. I don't know what to do. My love, stop talking like that. I've told you to stop worrying yourself, okay? All that matter is that I love you and you love me. Okay, let me reveal a secret that I've been huddling all these years. What is it? Before I met you, my life was full of pains, sadness, loneliness, okay? Until I met you. From there on, everything turned around. Really? Yes. Success, Bounty, joy, happiness, everything came to me. And look, the happiness I have today is because of you. Why, why can't they just give me one, just, just one child, ah. just, so that at least you, you, you will be... <laughs> just one. My love, at this age, now tell me, how are you going to manage your protruding belly? Eh? <laughs> Come on. Eh? At least you would help me carry the child if it's too heavy. You helped put your hand on them. Uh, it's all right. Normally, a man will carry the child for the woman. You know that. Oh. Yeah? But you see, smile. When you smile, there is nothing that gives me joy more than seeing you smile. Okay? But you know, it's barely six months before they would ask you to leave the throne. What, 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 do, what are you going to do? Come what on, you? leave that. The gods are wise. Let us leave the gods to do their thing. Okay? Trust me, everything will be fine. Alright? Very sure. Come here. <clears throat> Five 
Now, hurry up. Monica is very hungry, eh? Monica, come back here. Monica, I said come back here, Monica. Biaba, Biaba, come here. Iche, what did I do today? Commanding me like a soldier man. Eh? Did you, do you see me? Eh? You are just passing me by. Iche. Eh? Is that good? Is your burugi? What did I do? Commanding me like a military man. Eh? Ela eh meregi. Is is that's it? I know, know, know. Get for whom? We can. That's it. You can't, can't you greet me? Hey, Monica, money, money. If only he had this ensemble, we have seen something in this ensemble. So, Maka, I did not greet you. That is why you now turn to a soldier man to stop me on the road to command me to greet you. Ekwa. <laughs> I don't blame you. If not, I'm very, very hungry. Very, very hungry. I would have stopped properly to greet you. Properly. Hmm? I can see. That's, eh? if, if you talk to me in that manner, the spirit of this land will strike you dead. Hey! I'm a dear you go. Eh? Eh? It's an again, make it me. And I'm a dear you go. This land, a dear you go. Hey! Mm. What did you just say now? You see how people buy problems they did not pay for. Or to mother see a who going here on us again. Eh? You want problem, Abi? Eh? I can see that eh? spirit Repeat of Repeat it again. Uh, that that uh -huh. evil spirit. Uh -huh. Oh, but that uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, 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 Stupid man! I'm not going to go and I'm going to my utmost strength. Stupid man! Hey! 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 What I can wait here, met yet? Eh? Wait here, more cheer, no food. Don't beat me front and back. Hey! Did you get a nook? Hey! Nothing. Nothing. No damn eat it. Do you want to eat? Are you hungry? Should I make it for you? Because this fufu will not do me. It's only meant for Monica. Should I make for your own? You sure know what I am talking about, Monica. I don't know, sir. Why did you do what you did to do for me? Since you're like the school, eh? <clears throat> that sees everything, even in your room, and you saw that I beat my as in Dukwe, you should also know why I beat him now. Hmm? 
Monica. Papa. Learn to restrain yourself. Learn to control your anger. You are a woman. Undukwe offended you. Yes. Mana, it's not for you to take revenge. Eh? You punch the man just like that. Mm. Eh? You should have left everything to God to, to, to judge. Ah, Nyama, God. Papa, I am not one of Jesus' disciples in the Bible. Mbano. I take my revenge immediately. Knock, knock. Hmm? If anybody offends me, I take it immediately. Hmm? The gods are too busy to help me, so I help myself. Tell him all. Since he wants to be a military man on my head, I'll be a military woman on his head. Hmm? Tell him, warn him for me. Papa? <clears throat> I think I have to call my brother mm. to come down from the city to the village. Maybe when he comes, he will talk to you and make you realize that you are a woman. Oh, no. <laughs> no problem. I'll do that. One more thing to quell. Enough is enough. Okay. You are a woman. Oh, no. Papa, do you want to eat? I made this soup. It's still fresh, oh. Papa? Papa, come now. Okay, bye bye. Mm. How? Oh, I'm not going to want. You can cook. Oh. Oh, Majesty. Looking at her sad face, make the day dreamy without joy. Smile for your children, Your Majesty. Wow. Up, Nepa. Just a smile you give. Nepa just brought the light in also. Dose, I know you're trying to make me laugh, but honestly, I am not in the mood for entertainment today. Thank you, Your Majesty. Like a woman is not enough for you again. This is why you're here suckling and biting your fingers. Did you make a mistake in making you a man? You're leaving me alone. I think your girlfriend stepped on me with another me. And you got it. Why am I even listening to you guys? I don't even blame you. Neither blame my chief for creating me this way. You don't even know what it takes to grow up in the midst of girls. And I'm the only boy there. You are here talking trash. Why am I even here listening to you guys? Since and your line they switched off. My line was switched off. Yes, sir. I guess my phone was switched off. Eh, hey, hey, Atoka! Atoka! Have you had lunch? No, nah, Baba, I go chop when I never see you. They say you know my helper. Hold on, I got two plates for both of us. How? Get it on the car. Odogu, boss man. Best way get you like. Odogu, your first show. Your shoes shine. My child, man. Best way to marry you, yeah. <laughs> you go use enjoyment, finish her. How? Stephanie. Daddy, sorry. 
You know, smoking is not good for you. Huh? Yes. But that is if you don't know how to take care of your health. Uh, don't tell me that. No, please. Don't let us dive into that argument for now. By the way, have you finished preparing for your presentation for tomorrow? Of course, Daddy. Everything is in place now. Ah. Yes. Hope you know that our priority is to win the contract. Certainly. At whatsoever cost. I know. No? <laughs> but Daddy, you know I have never lost a contract before, so I don't intend starting now. That's a very good <laughs> word. That's a very good word. Thank you, Daddy. Huh? Yeah. So, the best. Okay. Uh, I hope you find it. I'm okay. I'm okay. Except you're smoking. But I will stop. Hmm? I'll stop. I promise. Is a promise? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. My baby. <laughs> <laughs> You smell good. You smell good too. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I must tell you, you're beautiful. I must tell you, you're cute. Um, all right, gentlemen. Um, good you are here. So, let's get to the business of the day. I have other clients to attend to. Um, Mr. Chris, right? Yeah, I'm Mr. Chris, first. okay. Let's hear you. <laughs>
the king demands your presence in the palace. And let's go immediately. Don't waste my time. Good thing we met you here because we are on our way to your place now. You did report me. Oh, you know what you did? My friend, move. Move! Let's go. Hey! You need to open our Hey! 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 You should know me by now. I don't go about looking for trouble. But it does not mean that when trouble presents itself, I will not go for it. Even our people say that when the tree does not know how to dance, it will be touched by the wind. That's the clear case of I and I and I and Monica, you have no right to insult a titled man of Ozobolo. Mm. Ichendukwe, Your Majesty. What Monica enumerated here was that what actually happened? Yes, Your Majesty. But she should have given me that respect. Huh? As a titled man of this uh, our kingdom was over. Huh? Mm. <sighs> Undokwe. Your Majesty. I think you are still behind time. Do you know the century we are in? 21st century. Civilization has taken over the whole universe. Things are not done the way we used to do them. The young ones deserve their own respect. Okay? Your Majesty. You see, as an elder, not just an elder, a cabinet chief, you are supposed to carry yourself in such a manner that you will garner respect from the young ones. All right? Be that as it may, Monica, you have no right whatsoever to assault a titled man of this kingdom. Consequently, I am sentencing you to three days community service in his house. Shut up! Why are you to interject when I am talking? Sorry, Your Majesty. Like as I was saying, before you rudely interjected, you are sentenced to three days community service in his house. Now, Icho Dukwe. Your Majesty. During this period, you are going to reflect on your actions. And there is a question I want you to ask yourself. If Monica were to be your daughter, would you have treated her like that? <coughs> your Majesty, <coughs> this girl showed me Pepe. Eh? She beat me? Oh, Your Majesty. Igwe, what is community service? Eh? Community service means when you wake up in the morning, you will go to Ichendiko's house, his compound, and sweep everywhere. In the event that he requires you to do some house chores inside the house. In my bedroom. Shut up, I'm talking. In the event that uh, he wants you to do some house chores inside his house, you must oblige. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In my bedroom. Oh. Will you keep quiet? <clears throat> um, you may leave. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ichendukwe. 
Your Majesty. You are laughing. What were you looking at? You're not ashamed of yourself. How can you ask her to do something in your bedroom? Huh? I have asked you to reflect on what you did to her. And you are compounding it. How can you fall inside the pit and you are still digging instead of, instead of you to climb out? Your Majesty, you see, someone that will uh, come and uh, do some community service, you see? Everything is community. So we are community, 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 yeah, everything there, you see? You are very stupid. Now get out of my palace. Get out! Your Majesty, okay, you are, you are Majesty. Hi. Um, your presentation was awesome in there. I mean, you were superb. You should keep the good work going. Thank you. Okay. And you too, you were bad. Um, you swept me off my feet. I must confess. <laughs> you know, I didn't see that coming. It just came like a bomb. And you were able to defend it. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> for my father's company, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that. Can I get to see you some other time? I mean, get to meet her, dinner, lunch, whatever. Okay. If you wish for it. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. That's my card. Be a gentle lady and I'll uh, take it from me. <laughs> Okay, and um, let me give you mine. Please. I... I'll call you. It's fine. Mm. It was a pleasure meeting you. The pleasure is all mine. Uh, Alright, bye. Care. Yeah. Stephanie, you're busy speaking. Hi, that's Chris. Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm beautiful. I hope your day was good. Oh, yes. It was awesome, especially meeting the smart and intelligent woman like you. It was a nice presentation you made today. Oh, okay. Thank you. And you also did well. But you know, at some point, I, I thought I was going to lose it for you. Oh, sure. You will lose to me. My company is in the best position for this project. Don't sound so confident because I am fully prepared to win this contract to my father's company. You know, I can cut you some slacks. There is space for merch. Huh? I can offer you that, but it will come with a little price. <laughs> a typical African man. Always interested in bribery. Corruption, anything to just get in <laughs> All right, tell me, what's the price? Just a chance to see your beautiful face again. Are you asking me else for a date? Lunch, actually. Choose a place, a restaurant, and I'll be there. Okay. Um, a Swiss restaurant and bed. Time, please. Uh, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. it is. To have a good night rest. Bye.
Like a swindler. What you do is swindle people of their hard earned coinage. Don't you go your way. Very hard earned coinage. Look like a thief. Young man. I know your face. Are you sure? Are you sure I'm on the right path? Can span as it is. Oh. oh no, I know you won't. Okay. I know you don't. Sorry. Let me tell you, Monica, it costs orders of opulence. Oh, I know you won't understand what, that. What did I do? Monica, yes. you asking me what you did? Ah. You've done the unspeakable. Mm. Oh yes. Okay. You don't dare do that. Mm. By the way, where is my grandfather? Bye. Grandfather! Magu is here. Oh, 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 oh. I know. That's him right there. Magu. That's the young, youngest man ever living. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I see you looking very young as usual. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you too. How is your father? Well, my father is fine. That's good. And as you can see, I am fine too. That's great. And I can see. You look good too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. Uh, 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 a quick one. Was it? You see, I've got an honest, innocent question for you. What is it? Tell me. What have you been feeding her? Oh yeah, that is. She's looking oversized. I mean, like a baby elephant. Huh? Huh? What do you talk? Uh, it's not an elephant. Anyway, oh well, 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 well oh, uh, you are welcome home, eh? Take your stuff inside and make yourself comfortable. Eh? Okay, that's All okay. Right. Uh, you know we have a lot of catching up to do. Oh yes, you have to tell me how your father is. Oh yes, you. you look good. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Take your things inside. Ah, uh, uh, grandpa. Yes. Lest I forget. This is for you. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, catching up to do. And as for you, Monica, the next time you see a gentleman dressed in a very sparkling and clean apparel, you know what you do for yourself? You keep social distance. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Social distance. I know you know that. That's good. <laughs> You're right. Good. I, I won't do. Social distance. Yes. Shall we keep a social distance? Very important. Good. Very important. <laughs> I got you. Okay. I I'll, got you. I will join you. Enjoy your. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Papa, go. Papa. Right. Yes. I go follow for that. Go inside. Go inside and do what? Go inside and do what? I help him. Someone that came back with a woman's bag. I should help him. Is he buying anything for me? See ya, Zemeze. 
He should be careful. Oh, my kid, you see? You know I hate insults. You know I hate insults. Monica, I hate insults. Monica. Yo, Zemeze. Monica. Yo, Zemeze. Monica. You borrow your candy. No, no, no. Go and help him. Go and help him. Who knows if he's a man that bought it for me? Sure. You get Zemeze. Monica. Bread. He didn't bring she nap. For another little man, he brought bread. His children. So where is our tradition? Oh, bread. Well, I appreciate your bread, but how do they think? Where, where lies our tradition? Bread. And Shinab, <laughs> they don't tally. Anyway, they keep on learning. We have to teach them our tradition. <laughs> it's all right. Welcome home. Welcome home. <laughs> yes, what is it? So, is the phone request for the house actually? And it's now that I'm stepping out that you thought, you thought it wise to find it. Sorry, sir. Take the file to Judith. She knows what to do with it. The last time I checked, you know, I had to get everything ready. That's why I, um, I came back to the country to focus on my business. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mine is that my father got tired of working so hard, you know, so I had to come back to the country to take over the company. Oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> that's really cool. You know, I'm glad I met you, Art. Same here. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think we need to take time off work. Okay. Be fine. It's, a, it's all right. Hello? Uh, uh, no, 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 no problem. He's going to be fine. Um, he, he's just, um, it's, a, it's as a result of stress. Yes, but the doctor say he's going to be fine. No, 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 there, there won't be any need for that. It's okay. It's all right. <sighs> um. All right. You, you call me when you wake up, okay? I will call you once he wakes up. All right. Okay. Let me run and look. He'll be fine. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you.
Oh, God. This is the second day we met. And he hasn't called. Should I call him to know if he's fine or suffering? I beg, no calling. He's the man, he should call me. I'm freshening up. I'm so, so tired. If tiredness was oppressing, not me. in this house. Pepper chokes you because you are already committing suicide. Listen, it is, I think I know what to do. Uh, uh, hey, hey, hey! hey. Now. Oh, I get it, Guano. Bring my food, oh. Bring my food back, oh. Or I can't want to add an extra one. Better bring back my food, oh. This one is about to finish, oh. This is your food, the normal food for you as a human being. What is this? It's your food. What is this now? Nobody can ever be a three year old picking. That's what you're giving me to eat. Oh, nah, I'm a, nah, now, nah. listen to me. After joking, by the time you're done wailing, if you're hungry, you will eat. Or do you think it, it is easy to make money? And don't you? Well, you, you don't even have the keys. You're very wicked. You're a wicked man. I eh? got the keys. Not the, uh, you cannot go in there. Look at Oh! Hey! God! Hey! God! Hey! Jesus! Go back to that place. You're going to be a wicked man. Eh? What's going on? It's a lot of my food. Your Majesty, you're highly welcome. Please come in, sir. My friend. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Good to see you in my house. Yes. Please have your seat. Have your seat. Thank you. <laughs> ah, it's nice to receive you. <laughs> How's your wife? 
is fine. Oh, great. Thank great. You. Wonderful woman. Mm -hmm. Oh, please excuse us. Thanks for welcoming. Thank you, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Our people mm. say a toad does not jump in the day for nothing. That's true. So pang. <laughs> Outfit check. Smart, hey? See my Versace. Versace, complete fit. See my shoe, right? So much you, everything is given. It's given, given. <laughs> and my bag, my bag, you see there? Money. <laughs> Wrong, why? Why is no brother to call me? Is everything okay? It's the correct number. What's wrong? Who picked the call? Let me call. I won't dial again. He's calling. It's actually a correct number, right? Hello? 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 Yes, okay. Who's this? Where's Chris? Oh, my boss. The owner of the phone has been hospitalized for two days now in the hospital. Hospitalized? Yes, ma'am. Where? Where? Which hospital? Um, we are at um, Franklin's hospital. Are you coming, ma? I'm coming. Uh, no, 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 no. I am already on my way going to work right now. Maybe when I close from work, I will, I will stop by. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. Oh, okay. Will you be needing anything? Like, does he need anything? No, ma. No, ma. Thank you, ma. Oh, okay. All right. Talk to you later. See you guys later. What happened to him? Visit of the indeed chief. Those elders. It has unsettled. Is it? And people are now looking at him now. What is wrong with our youth? What is wrong with our youth? That's the problem. What is going on? But Gampa, if I may ask, why is the king? I mean, is it? Why does he want to step down? Why is he still holding? The throne and the staff. Why? Nobody knows. It is only Zebube and his chief that knows the answer to that question. Nobody knows. This is strange. The story is. I can't. <sighs> <laughs> 
exactly is going on? I mean, I'm a bit worried about you. You don't eat your food for some time now. You've not been eating. You're so absent-minded. You're not concentrating. Tell me, is there a problem? You know, you can always share with me. Not at all. I can assure you, there's no problem. Okay? Nothing. Uh, I was just thinking of how to reach out to a novel. Could you please get one of the guards to, to fetch him for me. I need to see him immediately. That is not a problem. I would ask Dizzy to go and come. All right? I'll be fine. Just be good for me. It's all right. Take care of yourself. It's OK. I'm fine. All right? All right. <laughs> all right. Coming. OK. God is not a man. Tomorrow is deep. Even in a tunnel, if a chipulunya gemelili. I am a Ubudu Diego. Things they happen. Oh, Majesty, I've never seen your beautiful smile shining in the entire kingdom of Azuri. Exactly, Your Highness. Your smile is so contagious. You never fail to put a smile on my face. Thank you, Your Highness. Oh, please. Can you go tell Omogo that the king would love to see you in the jail? How are you, Harris? Thank you, Highness. How is he doing? <clears throat> um, as you can see, yeah, he's taking it now and I'm um, waiting for him. Okay. His body temperature has returned to normal. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. You need not to panic, he'll be fine. Okay. All right. Son, you're awake. You're here. Yes, I'm here. I, as soon as I got out uh, of your message, I have to come to see you. Mm. Yes, I hope you're getting better. Yes, Dad, I'm getting better. Okay, that's, that's good. Um, the doctor said uh, it's as a result of stress, so you need some break for work. Okay. I'll get a break. That's good. Why is Ophia? Oh, I sent him to get some fruits down the street. He will soon be back. Oh. Okay. How are you doing? I'm getting better. I know I've stressed you a few days. But don't worry, I will go. I'll make it up to you, okay? My boss, no reason now. My main concern is for you to be strong again. I just want to see you on your feet. Of course, I will be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. My son. Oh. I think I have to leave. I have a meeting with the king at the Grace Palace. Okay. Um, I will come and see you in the evening. In case I can't make it, then tomorrow I'll come and see you. All right, Dad. Take care of yourself. I will. I will. I will. Take care of you. Sure, sir. I will. Sure. 
Don't worry, sir. I will take very good care of him. Sir. Alright. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Chi. What do you think we should do in this situation? Ono who is right. SDBA is here to say anything concerning the situation. And it is quite unlike him. What do you think is the reason why SDBA is silent? Does it mean that the gods are not aware of the happenings? I do not apportion any blame against the gods. Because Amadio has never failed us before. He has never. That's true. But this whole happening is worrisome. Hmm. Maybe we should pay as a Libya and find out why are the gods silent over all this. I think we should hold on a little while. I'm uh -huh. sure the gods have something for us. Let us hold on a little while. I think so. Yes. It's all right. That's better. Okay. It's all right. Um, looking for a patient. What's his name, ma'am? Uh, um, Mr. Christopher Agada. Oh, okay. Just here. Okay, this morning. Yes, yeah. thank you. right now is for you to stay healthy and stay strong for us. Yeah, I will. I will help you better. Of course. Yeah. I want you to be strong, back on your feet and back to work. Yes, I will. I will be back on my feet soon. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you're taking care of him. Yes, I am. You're welcome. Sorry again. You need to be better. Why, Manaria? Why, Why, Ah, oh no. Your Majesty. You're welcome. At least for once, Dozier is making sense. Uh, he should always put a smile on the face, Your Majesty. Uh, oh no. Um, I hear you. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to ask. You were always disgusted with my husband. Meetings upon meetings. What exactly are you planning? <laughs> planning? I don't understand what you mean by planning, Your Majesty. That's okay. I wasn't even expecting you to admit to it. Uh, the king is waiting for you patiently in the sitting room. Okay, uh, Your Majesty. Let me see. No. Oh, Marie Chawai. Just it. I'm Sam Petewai. Ugo Boma. Ah. Oh, no, Uagada. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Please sit down. <clears throat> so, oh no. Mm, Your Majesty. What happened? I sent someone to your house to call you, but I was told you traveled to the city. Oh, I had to rush to the city to see my son. Ah. Yes, and um, he, I think he is doing well now. Yeah, so, yes. how is he very generous? He is, he is, he is, he is very well. 
Um, the doctor says as a result of stress, so he needed to rest. Uh, oh no. I think that boy is being overworked in his company. Hmm? He needs to have a break, okay? Your Majesty. You know, he is doing that for his own good and also for his father. Yes, and um, for his own future as well. You have a point, my friend. You see, that boy is a facsimile of his father, you know. So I'm not surprised that uh, <laughs> he's a go getter. All right? Your Majesty, you are right, you are right. Um, you see, um, he's trying and he's okay now. It's all right, but and um, that will enable me to have a chance and do other things. Okay, but tell him to have rest. Ah, he will. Okay, he will. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're welcome. Um, let's call her. Uh, your hand is let cool that. Uh, hey, this boy is wicked. Since morning, that's more food. That's what he has just given me. Ah, uh, your own wickedness or witchcraft. Eh? How will I survive this now? Does he want me to die? Eh? Mba, I know what to do. I know what to do. Think of the game. Eh? Hey! Monica. Papa. Why are you raging like a game? What is the problem? Papa, it's not, it's not that magnet. Why will he lock the kitchen? Eh? Why will he lock the kitchen? Eh? I believe. And I am sure he believes that the reason you fight people outside is because of too much eating. Mm. Uh, yes. Oh, then, man. When you start fighting people outside, and until you do that, you will not eat good food in this. Oh, they no man, no, no. Oh, they no man, no problem. Keep your kitchen. Lock it. She am the one cooking, eh? I'm no longer interested. Lock the kitchen. She am the one cooking. Lock the kitchen. Let me go and find something to eat. Lock it up! Fuck it me!
You see how this god used to fight for me? Hey! Hey! Let me go home and eat solid food. Is it bad? Monica, it's not good to leave him here. What if something bad happens to him? But my br brother. No, now. He's, he's mannerless and wicked. Eh? I don't even know the one I hate most. Is that he's too stingy or his grammar? Eh? Well, it's because you're my brother. It's because you're my brother. Ago, Magu. Yeah, man, can be con. Yeah, man, can. Ah, stand up. I think they stand up, my friend. Kuroto. Then stand up, man. Where are you? Don't disgrace yourself here. Hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. Hey, you not going to If it's me now, you will not help me. Yeah? Where are we going? Where are we are going to your paradise. Is good <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Papa, <laughs> you see how God usually fights for the tailless elephant. <laughs> mm. God will continue disappointing those that are not like me. He will continue disappointing those that are not like me. Or hate me. Hmm? <laughs> what a great day it is today. <laughs> hey, money eats. You have the key to the kitchen. Eat. <laughs> mm. Eat oh. Yeah, sure, I'll be at the office today. But you need to be there on time. You know I've not been to the office for days now. Because my father and my doctor instructed me not to go to the office for now. So I need to go and come back without them noticing I left the house. Yeah, I'll come with a cab. Off here to keep a secret? <laughs> That's impossible. Ophia is loquacious. The moment he finds out that I plan to go to the office today, he will not hesitate to call my father, who will run down breathing hard on me, and that I do not want for now. All right, I'll be there shortly. Yeah.
Monique, Monique. Mago. <laughs> Mago. Yes. You see, I don't know. Just relax. Relax yourself. I'm relaxed. You see, right now, I'm speaking to you in clear terms. Okay. In a very clean, clear terms. No controversy. Okay. Take it easy. <laughs> Listen, you see what you did yesterday, it was commendable. I mean, it was way out of it. I didn't expect it. But, yes, if only you can keep this between us. I promise you won't have nothing, no controversy whatsoever. Believe me. And to show you that I am pleased with what you did. I made something special for you. Okay. See this? It's for you. Hold on. I to show you it's from my heart. I'm just gonna take one spoon from it. <laughs> yes, you will like it. Hey. 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 <laughs> Come on, this is for you. You don't know Monica. <laughs> I can't keep secret. Really? Yes, I don't go about looking for trouble, so. Troubles go about looking for me. And as a Wi-Fi with that password, I accept all of them. You know now. But as you don't talk at now, eh? No problem. Really? Teammates, yeah, teammates. Teammates. Yeah, not teammates. Hey. Teammates. Teammates. So you gotta eat this? Spoon. Yes. You prepare this food. Of course. Hmm. It's sweet though. It's really? Yes. You like it? <laughs> Is that extra? Extra now. No extra for you. Hey. But don't worry, you will get extra. <laughs> hey. Put it here. Put it here. Hey. Now, hey. listen. Hey. You keep your mouth shut. Hey. Not even grandpa should hear this. Nobody. Hmm. I'm a secret keeper. Secret keeper. Hmm. He called me through his um, room window and I asked him how he was doing. He said, Fine. Just that uh, the medicine they gave him in the hospital is making him feel dizzy. So he wanted to rest more. Are you sure he didn't treat you so he can go out? Hi. Hey. Stephanie, um, has it been long you came? Mr. Chris, where are you coming from dressed like this? Ophir, since when did you start speaking to me in that tone? Huh? Baba, she stands now the vex. At the vex now, shoe. Upon the one way your papa and Dr. Wong, you still get my golf fees. Eh? In fact, make a call to you. Ophir, if, 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 if you mess with me, I will not pay your salary for the next five months. What's wrong with you? Now take this bag inside. Take the bag and go inside. Nonsense. Why are you still standing there? Don't mind Ophir and I. This is actually how we roll. You good? All right, let's go inside. Come. Ah. Wow. You know, I can't remember the last time I had good food. Really? The way I'm going to the borders, eh? You want the food of wandering wood forest I came out from? <laughs> wow. Yes, did you put some for Ophir? Yeah? Oh yes, I I did. This. Let me call him to grab it. Don't don't worry, don't bother yourself. I'll just call him to come get his food. Oh, 
You like? I love. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Ovia. Come inside, come get something, okay? Hurry up. Yeah, now. Wow, babe, this is wonderful. That is God. How did you make this? Okay, let's just say that I'm a beauty and also a child. Yes, you are. <laughs> you know, I like the food. I eat really good. I don't manage the food I eat. Mm -hmm. Now you're enjoying it. Of course, I have to enjoy it. Hi. Okay. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. He has just relaxed, but you still go off it. My boss, I, I beg, forgive me. You don't say you're not my helper. Don't, don't do that. Stand up, please. Ba, 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 I beg. No vex. No vex for me. Off here, I understand. I know you mean well for me. All right? So get up. Help. Take your food, huh? <laughs> all right, take your food. Mm. Go and eat it before it gets cold, okay? My boss, my boss! The food is crazy. Go my helper! <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Of yeah. You two are like brothers. Hmm? You two are like brothers. Um, <laughs> yeah, kind of. Why is it flying? I don't know. Because of the dog. Why this, why this useless man would drop me here? Just, just dump me here as if. What does he expect me to do? <sighs> Hello? Yeah. I, I don't even know where I am. He just dropped me here. Okay, okay, um, let me look around. I think I'm at um, opposite MNS Cooking Gas. Yeah, okay. Oh, do, you, do you want me to come or I should wait here for you? Okay, I should come around. All right, hurry up then, okay? Please hurry up. I don't even understand this nonsense. I don't, I don't like this type of nonsense. Why would you just stop me here? Yeah? And this son is too, like, I don't like this. Are you okay? Sorry. How dare you? Now look, look at this dirty pig. Trying to dirty my expensive clothes. How, are you okay? Dirty with you. I'm talking to you. Honey, oh, God. Don't, don't, don't do it. You should be apologizing and you're here talking rubbish. Don't, you, you want don't to dirty do me? It. Don't do it. Magnus. I'm Shut talking up. and I'm talking and, and she's still talking. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you. Ah! Are you mad? Is it mad? <laughs> is it not, is it not some stupid, stupid, useless people that attacked me on the road? Attacked me? 
A village, a village, village. Yes, no. Ta, mara ngo iso. Mara ngo. For you, describe them. Don't describe them first. Describe them. Describe them. It is one fat, ugly-looking girl and the other guy that has beers on his face. Where they nash? Yes. Don't worry, king. Don't worry, look, king. Money, money. The last year, maybe it's nice. Mara ngo. One dirty looking thing. They 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 mess me up. Mess you up. No bother. Now I'm gonna hey, I'm gonna tell you, Miss Yang, Miss Yang, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and see Miss Yang. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, go and see her. One day, go. The last year, it was nice. You go and see her. I'm gonna go. Eh? That's him. I'm gonna go and see her. Jay. I got my gear. Okay, my my head. Can I come? Go see him. Go see him. Okay, okay, let's go. Can I come? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? What is that? What is that? Cheers, Dad. <laughs> Cheers, son. <clears throat> you still want to talk to me? Yes, um, Dad, I... I called you out here to discuss something very important. Okay. Um, what could that be that troubled you, my son? You know I can do anything for you, so go ahead and say it. That I... I think it's high time I settle down. I found a girl, and my heart accepts her. <clears throat> That's the right decision, and the right step to take my son. Thank you, Dad. I know a day like this will come, like I told you last time. Every parent wish to see a day like this. But you have to give me a little time for me to round up with a project I am at. Uh, I cannot combine two of them at the same time. So, you go ahead with your marriage as soon as I'm done with the project. Dad, what's this project you're handling that I do not know about? Come on, my son. I will definitely let you know. You know I'm not going to hide anything from you. Hmm? When the time comes, I will let you know. All right, I'll trust you on that. Trust me on that. Yes, I will. But you see this girl, I must marry her. Hmm. I love her so much. I'm not going to marry any other girl other than her. Your choice of marriage, I will respect my son. But make sure you marry that lady who loves you and are careful. That this girl loves me so much. That I know. And I know she's going to take good care of me. I pray so, my son. <laughs> so, um, when are you going back to Mr. Money? You don't need to be doing all these things. You don't need to fly your car. Oh. Can you take care of this? Him. I'm gonna ask him. Yeah. Mba, I can't. Open up, Man to man, I can't talk. Yeah. He ate a pack of pan. Mba, I'm gonna get up. Get up, get up now. Hey. Get him out. Hey. Hey. That's my girl. Come on. I want to know where you are. Adio. 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 Come on. Sister. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's my big girl. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Bring it here. <laughs> Bring it here. I told you. <laughs> uh -huh. This is beautiful. Yes, you allow me to do my thing now, like uh -huh. You know, I told you that um diplomacy has solved a lot of things. Has settled a lot of war, if you ask me. Oh yes. But you may not understand this. Yeah. I don't understand what you talk. But for allowing me to be that idiot, that stupid boy, <laughs> one chilled bottle for you. Say that again. I, I swear, one chilled bottle for you. Woo! I had a hand. I'm already thirsty. Let's go into my children. You can't go there like this. Really? Bam. Really? Bam. Come on, give me that again. Ah, ah. I had a hand. Ah, ah. Baby girl. Ah, ah. ah. Kai! Home sweet home! My head on Funa! It is good to be back home, baby! Leave me! Leave Monica! Make Monica do it! Yeah! Leave Your Majesty! Just look at you! It's, you know, it's been a long time! Sparkling! <laughs> look at your skin! What about you? Come on, money is good! What Please see that, see that, see that! Money <laughs> is good, my friend! Yeah. So, how is the city? Well, fine! Your family is fine! Well, okay! Good. Well, um, well, what of your beautiful daughter? Oh, my daughter, mm -hmm. Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie, she's fine. Oh, good. Very, very fine. Oh, Only good. that she has been busy since her return to Nigeria. Oh. Uh, you know, you know, our bones is not getting younger again. Uh, uh, we are getting weaker day by day. Uh, so, Stephanie, she's the one representing the company oh. everywhere. She had let us time for this. Oh. <laughs> you see, I've not set my eyes on her since um, uh, after the mother's funeral. So, uh, I really wouldn't want to see her. Really? Mm -hmm. It's been a long time. Yes. Please, uh, forgive my bad man. Uh, you know, but I'm going to tell her to make time. So that you can come around and visit you. Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah, okay. That would be lovely, my No, friend. we must do that. Yeah? <laughs> but, see, I, I, I cannot comprehend why you refuse to remarry another wife. Hey, hey. No, well, you just hold on. I mean, at your age, uh -huh. you need somebody to oil those joints. You know, you've retired. <laughs> you are asking somebody to take off your company. So, who will massage you? Your huh? Highness. <laughs> Don't go there. Uh, <laughs> Don't let us go there. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, I cannot stand out and endure the strain from these uh, ladies of this generation. Eh? I have taken my faith mm. huh? mm. because I want to live long. <laughs> let me tell you, if you want to live long, yes. you need those things. Huh? Yes, if you lack the stamina or the capacity to do it, I will prescribe something for you. Oh. Root. Your Highness. I have special roots. Yeah, roots for you people here. Uh, supplement for us in the town. Yeah. Okay, if you are having those supplements, so why are you running away from the need food? I'm running away from their trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you have the money. You have the money. My bad. Talking uh, about roots, yes. I need to entertain you. I mean, my good friend cannot come here and I will not entertain you. Mm -hmm. huh? Yes. Roots. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but uh, this place yeah. is my house as well. Oh. I'm, 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 am I a visitor here? I'm not a visitor. It's your house? Yes. So I should entertain you? Yes. Negative. Yes. It is your brother that is your visitor. Ah. And you are my brother and friend, so I must entertain you. Okay? You're right. You're right. Hey. Your Majesty. You're right. Go and bring cola for my visitor here. The root? Huh? If you want the root, uh, I won't mind the root anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know that my special root? Come with it. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Special route. Money, 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 money
to bring nothing to me but disgrace. Why? Monica, why? Papa, what did I do now? It's only the one that Monica did. That is the one you used to you see. Shut up. You know that's what they did to Monica. Eh? Thunder will fire your mouth for... for, for grandpa, 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 take a chill pill. Grandpa, that was too harsh. There is... There's no need for all that. You know, you see this particular matter? Teammate here, Monica, <laughs> she is innocent. Yes, and I put it to you, Grandpa, if you were there and did nothing as the father or the guardian, then I would say that you have disappointed. Timmet! And I said, Guardian of you. Timmet! Timmet! Yeah. Timmet! Yeah. yeah. Put it here. Timmet! Put it here. Uh, Put it here. <laughs> but you know, you know, you know, Magnus only stands for the truth. <laughs> Put it here. You know, we will visit that place again. Those cold beer. Those cold beer. Let us go in. Are we going in? Is this the way? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We will visit there tomorrow. But I'm not wrong. You're not. Yeah, it's not Grandpa! Papa! We are not wrong. Um, after you both presented your proposals, I found it difficult to make a choice. I had to take it up to the Board of Trustees. I believe they faced the same challenge I had. They have decided that 
both companies will work in collaboration to deliver a perfect contract. So all necessary documents have been sent to your maze for proper signing and you just go through it, sign it and the contract is yours. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Alfred. Congratulations to you. Thank you, boss. I brought her to celebrate an amazing woman. You see, in all my years of practice as a marketer, I have never lost a project to anyone. Talk more of a woman. Not just any woman, a very beautiful woman at that. Huh? Same goes with me. You are so talented at what you do. That's true. My boss is the best when it comes to his business. In fact, he's the number one the champion. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Ophir, for that compliment. And babe, remember I promised you a match if you give me a date. Oh yes, that's even true. That match is happening. Give me that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Did you... Were you the one that told me that I'm afraid to give me the major? Uh, no. That was actually your credit. You earned it. Mm -hmm. Because I would have nailed you and Mr. Alfred if you two had played some pity tricks on me. <laughs> True? You won't knew my boss like Jesus Christ. <laughs> of course I would have. Because he is handsome and nerdy. Nope. <laughs> There's nothing like that. You are. Oh, trust me. Absolutely nothing like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo! My helper! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my opa. Mm -hmm. Um. Now this is to success. Yes. To success. <laughs> I was drawn to you like a magnet. Come here. My um, You called for this meeting? King Ezebube, I greet you. Ezemo, you're welcome. Elders of the land, I salute you. Ezemo, you're welcome. King Ezebube, as soon as I received your message, I have to hurry to this place. What message are you talking about? Ezemo, we lie. 
Huh? To get your attention and bring you here. We know we will not come without the king's invitation. So we had to do what we did. <laughs> yes, as a more. We need someone to tell us what is going on. Neither you, as a more, or our king has told us what is going on. I mean the preparation of the new king. Yes. Eh? Yes. This is why. We summon ourselves together and uh, called you. Mbo! Uh, our tradition demands that our king step down when he's 60 years and a new king will emerge. In three months' time, our king will be 60 years. And up to now, there is no arrangement on ground. We are tired. By now, we should have started the process of getting a new king. But up until now, we have done nothing about it. We are tired of being kept in the dark. Is it not true? Oh, why? Um, what is the meaning of this insult, Onowo? Um, Your Majesty, I know nothing, absolutely nothing about this. Your Majesty and the elders, um, you have done well. The gods are proud of you. Now that I am here, is it the ways of our gods are quite different from the ways of us mortals? The gods know what they are doing. King Ezebube, you and Queen Gladys. You will have to surrender the crown, the symbol of your authority. But you will have to still remain in the palace to perform the duty of a king and a queen. Well, um, Ezemo, whatever the gods say, we will comply. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Now, the process now begins. King Ezebube, whatever you have to do, do it fast because the gods are aware of all this. Hello. I wonder why you're keeping silent in this matter. You know our tradition. How can it come to the tone? Of his baby, and the God seems to compromise. Why? <clears throat> I keep asking if this is your know that we all used to know, or is there something you know that we don't know? I know nothing. You have changed. I know nothing. I asked His Majesty the same question severally, and he tells me the same thing he keeps telling all of us. So I believe His Majesty knows the tradition. He knows right what to do at the right time, even more than we do. And he has never disappointed. Well, things are not done in that way. The affairs of Ozo Oporo, the affairs of our community, are not done. But if I may ask, are the gods playing politics? Oh, no, 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 no,
Oh! That is if he has not done anything. Because I don't even know what to believe of His Majesty again. <clears throat> um, I've heard what all of you said. <laughs> and um, I'm going to do as you said. <laughs> now you come. You are, you are What's the <clears throat> Let's go. God is not a man. Tomorrow is deep. Even in a tunnel, if a chipulunya came a lily, I am a nobody to you. Things they happen, I am a nobody to you. Things they happen, I am a nalany to you. If an enemy no boy, I am a nobody to you. Things they happen, I am a. Are we going to stay this way? You've always known that a day like this would come. I mean, it is tradition and there's nothing we can do about it. But what baffles me is that you're kind of relaxed about the whole thing. Lola, I want to be left alone. <laughs> I need to think. As you must said, that whatever it is you're planning, Plan fast. But if I may ask, what exactly is it that you're planning? And what is so difficult for you to understand that I want to be left alone? Yeah. Fine. Nothing. <laughs> well, for real, nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. But you know, already. Um, hi. Please give me a, give me some minutes. Let me talk, attend to my dad. I'll call you back. Yes, Daddy. Um, a friend. Mm -hmm. Let's leave that first. What happened? You didn't go to work today. Yes, Daddy. I don't feel like going. I feel like staying at home and relaxing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's talk a bit before I go to work. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lee. So? Mm. So, Look at it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter. Daddy. You see, I know you are very hard working, that you don't even have time for yourself. But this time, I want you to have time for yourself. <laughs> hmm? okay. okay. I want you to socialize and make friends. It's not encouraging that a beautiful lady like you we cultivate a habit of uh, home to work, walk to home. Huh? What's to do that? Okay. Hmm? All right, Daddy. Or maybe you don't have the intention to give me grandchildren. Says who? Uh -huh. <laughs> Daddy, come on. <laughs> you know, um, very mm. soon I am going to bring a man you will call his son, mm -hmm. my husband, mm -hmm. and I am going to make you a proud grandfather. Wow, I can't wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Don't worry, you will be the one to run home hmm? because I am going to have plenty of children, plenty of grandchildren running up and down here. You will be the one crying, telling me to please come help you control them because they are going to disturb you. Yeah, we'll be pursuing ourselves in this house <laughs> <laughs> round and round and round. Well, that's one I trust you. Before I forget, yes, sir. I want you to make time next week for us to visit uh, the king of our community. What's my business with him? Hey, since you were a kid, the man liked you very much. And after your mother's burial, you left the country. And since then, he hasn't seen you. And uh, after your mother's burial, you left this country. Yeah. And since then, he hasn't seen you. 
Okay. Uh, so I promised him that uh, I will visit him together with you hmm? in his palace so that uh, he can see you once again. Hmm? And uh, the man loved you so much that he wished that his son will marry you. But unfortunately, he doesn't have a child. Is it? It's quite a pity. Honestly. And does he ha have a wife? Yes. A very good woman. Gladys, very good woman. But uh, uh, I don't know why the gods decided to punish them that way. So bad. It's fine. Mm. I am going to make out time next week for them. Okay. At least, let's pay royalty a visit. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> I know. Huh? That's my daughter. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Maybe next week. We just want okay. time. Yeah, to next week. Hmm? It's fine, sir. Let me go to work. You're going? Yes, yes, I have to. I have to. I have to. Okay. <clears throat> the driver is standing by already. Hmm? Gossip. Is it one day I'll beat you? Me hmm. too. Hey. What are you guys doing here? You are not quarreling today. Mm. To That's good news, so. Anyways, have you girls noticed what is happening recently in this palace? Notice what? You mean you don't know what is happening in the palace? The king seems to be having a series of meetings with the owner. I'm just wondering what is going on. See this one. I haven't thought you want to talk about His Majesty's refusal to drop power as the king. That one is a very important issue. There's always been a part of our tradition. I wonder why the king is refusing to honor it. Hmm. Well, girls, I don't think we should be discussing about His Majesty and his wife in this manner. After all, these people have been very good to us. Not only to us, but to the entire community. That's true. That you're right. I have plenty of things inside this for me to do. Go we'll and do it. Is it, so because, you know. is it because I come so now? You know. Why? You started you, you, you okay. noticing what you, you have to do. Just imagine. This one will decide this one will decide. Yes, how are you? Ah, fine, ma. Uh, is your boss in? No, he carrying Father go pack. He's not picking my calls. Mm, of course, he carrying Father go pack. But if you want enter, I hold my boss Becky. Fine. Make up with it. You know, I must confess, I never believed in love. Most times when I see people in love, I often ask myself, will I ever fall in love? Right now, I must tell you this. I am the luckiest man on earth to have you in my life. I bless the day I found you. And today, it's a beautiful day to say I love you with all of my existence. Promise me. Promise me you will never leave me no matter what. Can fishes survive without water? How can I stay without you? I can't even... I can't live without you. Yes, I still know. You've made my life a paradise. I love you now. I'll love you tomorrow. I'll love you forever. I will cherish you forever, my hero. You're so wonderful. And I must say, my life changed for good 
the moment you stepped into it. And all of me can attest to that. <laughs> You're a blessing to my life. Huh? You're a blessing to my life too. Thanks for reminding me. Huh? Alright, let's go. I love you. I love you too, my darling. I love you silly. I love you crazy. I love you mad. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Okay. Huh? So what do you have? Yeah, it's very really beautiful. Yeah. Very beautiful. You like? Yes, I love to walk down the streets all the time. I when I'm free. I can't yeah. remember when last I walked down like this. Really? I only did that on the US. Okay. As far as we're together. This is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Once my father used to call me Asa. <laughs> but you right now, I am calling you Asa. <laughs> Yo, Asa. <laughs> coming inside. Is this what you're going to do all through this night? Eh, uh, Magnus? Come you on. not come inside. Come on, Monica. Come on. I, I know you want to understand. But you see, sleep is for pitiable people. And as he says, any man that craves for success must always stay roused and strategize while others Slumber. <laughs> you know all these things you just said now. Don't understand. Of course, I know, I know. All I know is that Papa said you should come inside. Cheji go. Cheji go, Magnus. Eh? And stop insulting me with all these your big, big grammars. I like your Come on. Yeah? Come on. I'm not insulting you. Come on. Baby girl, come on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, can I Listen. Can I, can I ask you something, Monica? Do you think if we if we do not dump our pockets as fast as possible, do you think we'll be able to subsist this economic recession that is hammering our society? Do you think so? Are you done talking? Magnus, come inside and sleep. I'm going inside. Pastor, you should not. Are you not? Follow me. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. No, no. Just, 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 just get going. I see. I can't see anything. You can I get my light? I can't see. Ah, I can't see. Hello. Good morning, the gorgeous, most beautiful woman of this amiable kingdom. The most beautiful sunshine that ever liveth. Did you have a wonderful night rest? Did you have a sound sleep? Or did you have a terrible nightmare? Yeah, Magnus. That university that you went to, did you see me there? Oh, no. The answer is capital N O. No. Uh -huh. I mean, you you can't even be there to start. Because with. all this grammar you just blow now. The only thing I could make out is good morning. Good morning. Why are you embarrassing me uh, every time with your uh, grammar? Well, well, that means you actually heard me. You heard the good morning and you did not respond. Now, why didn't you respond? Oh, 
you don't know that respect is reciprocal. You don't know that? Happen on my Magnus. Uh, anyways, it's not your fault. I I I understand that uh, you are you're still that um illiterate, stuck illiterate for that matter. I I, I do not hold it against you. <laughs> but um, I was merely saying if you had a terrible night dream or would you want to share with me? I don't have any terrible night dream. What can you do this morning? Well, uh, I just wanted to inform you that um. I'm about going to look for work. You know, as they say, an idol man is the devil's workshop. And I, Magnus, never want to be a devil's workshop. Magnus, Jebe. So I'm up. Jebe, go and look for work. All right, baby. So I'll never. see you later. All right? Mm. Woo! Off I go. Woo! Woo! so grammar. The grammar really. Who is this Grace? Grace. Let me just know about Grace. Crazy guy. <laughs> Handsome guy. He's so cute, Daddy. Cute? So so cute. Uh -huh. he, 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 he's a fine guy. Of course. He, uh -huh. he, he is. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's, he's charming. Like he won my heart. Really? He's won my heart. How many? He touches you. Uh, Not yeah. really. Yeah. But the way he looks into my eyes. Okay. The way he tells me he loves uh, me. Uh, uh. Uh, the way he talks to me. You know, <laughs> he, he makes me feel like a queen that I am. Okay, okay, okay. That's the impo most important thing. Yes. That he cares. Very. He loves you. He loves me so, so, so much. Long. Ah, yeah, yeah. And I love him right back then. Ah, ah. I do. Mm. I know you don't eat any health food. No, That's what I know of you. Of <laughs> you have your choice. You have your class. Yes, <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> I trust you. I trust you. I'll just be happy. My good friend Ibezia, I'm really delighted. I'm honored for you to come and have dinner with me, my family, mm -hmm. yeah. your daughter <laughs> is here also. Mm, my beautiful daughter. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. You know, I will do anything for you. Anything. Especially with your recent request to come to see my beautiful daughter Stephanie. Oh, <laughs> I missed her. 
Really? I've been longing to see her. Look at her. <laughs> she has um, grown to be a very big woman. Mm -hmm. A full grown woman. A, a perfect replica of her mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am so sorry that I've not been chanced to come and see you. That's all right. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was made to understand that um, you're always busy, you know. That's all right. It's all right. <laughs> She's like wood cooked. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Dad. <Yeah. laughs> oh, I know. Chocumbas are very good for the eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me have one myself. Okay. Um, Stephanie indeed has grown into a beautiful young girl. Mm. Yes. Mm. Thank you, <laughs> We cannot wait for you to, you know, settle down. Mm. And we're waiting to be invited. Oh, really? <laughs> Even me, I'm patiently waiting for the lucky man. The daddy. lucky man. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Mm. Don't worry yourself. Your Majesties, very soon you all are going to meet my man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't wait. This is my baby. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Nice meal. I hope you're mm. enjoying some. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Your Majesty. You know. Gentlemen, you know, when I tell you about the situation in this country, it's nothing to write home about. I mean, how can the oil polloi of this country, the people we elected to rule us, now turn around to butcher us? I mean, how do you explain that? But I don't, I don't blame you guys because you, you don't understand what that means. Because you guys are a bunch of illiterates. Huh? Me, a glorified illiterate. Oh, yes. Hey, you hey, call hey, me a bunch hey, of illiterates. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. What do you want to? You want hey, to my hero, my hero. Grace? My hero. Huh? My hero, my hero. Come on. I will do it to you. You do it. My hero. My hero. You I should I I I can help. <laughs> Why are you? Tuning bumpers. Ah, uh, can't help. Can't help what? Yes. But the one that that fight the fight. Yes. Yes. Once you did it, I did it as well. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's a teamwork thing. It's really a teamwork thing. All right. Why are you? Why are you behaving like a woman? And then the Charlie. Why is she lonely? Yeah. She means I can't help. No. What do you expect me to do? So I can't help. Before you left the house today. You said an idle man is a devil's workshop. So that place I saw you today, that's where you're doing your work, Abby. Uh, you know what, Monica? You know, forget about what I said. Okay, what I said earlier was what I said earlier. But trust me, to say the least, I was so proud of what she did. I mean, it was heroic. And for that, I owe you one very big package. <laughs> Leaf package. You know what I... Leaf package. What's I came it? to that bar to drink away my sorrow. But you can't already explain my party. Eh? Listen, uh, you don't have to worry yourself, okay? For what you did today, I appreciate it from my heart. And if you want drink, I'll buy you drink. From my heart. About mm. it. Yeah, no controversy. Oh, yeah, now. Nah. Start by buying me one bottle of chilled beer. That's what you want? And pepper soup. No, wahala! <laughs> you have it. That's good. Oh, my goodness. Hi! Hey. 
husband who offended you I mean talk to me you want me to talk to you what exactly do you want me to say to you no answer me do not inkem me okay don't inkem me because I don't understand what's going on around here what is the matter with you now in case you have forgotten let me remind you 30 years of marriage we have been open and, and, and faithful to one another and what suddenly happened everything has changed Nothing has changed, I can guarantee you that. Really? Yes. Nothing has changed. Now you tell me, why do you give the elders the instruction to prepare for the coronation oh. without letting me know what's going on? So what's happening? Am I supposed to pack my things and go back to my father's house? Or better still, maybe your plan B is that we move to uh, 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 Obo town where you've built a house for our retirement. Is that it? The gods forbid. Oh, I will never try such a thing. There he goes again. The gods forbid, the gods forbid. Now answer me and tell me the truth for once. Do you have a child out there? Lolo, wait for me. Please, calm down. Huh? Lolo, wait, Wubi. Ha ha! for Wubi. Oh, wait, get to her. There you go, again! Lolo, there is always a reason for everything. Mm -hmm. But you see, I... <sighs> you don't have anything to say. Yeah. You definitely do not have anything to say! What are you doing here? I, I... 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 I what? Doing what you are best at doing? This attitude of yours is outrageous and very bad. What if it was the queen that found you? What would you have done? Are you okay? Like, are you mad? Eh? Can't you mind your business for once? Mind my business? Shh, please, please. You see this palace. Allow me to breathe. Oh, I allow you to breathe. I will allow you to breathe, but this your attitude will put you in trouble one day. It will put you back, nonsense. So you must see why. Cut a big head. Where's Amaka? She's in the kitchen. Please call her immediately. Okay, Your Majesty. Do 
you understand? Yes, Your Highness. Good. Hello. My queen. I'm sure you're wondering why I asked you to come. You know, yes. I have always respected you and seen you as an honorable man. I wouldn't want to change my mind. Okay. Uh, my queen, I haven't seen you in this mood before. Uh, what, what's the problem? Can you come down and talk to me? I am going to ask you a question and I want you to tell me the truth. Please Nothing go ahead. Go ahead. but the truth. Does my husband, the king, have a child out there? <laughs> my queen, not to the best of my knowledge. Really? Then yes. how come the king asked you and the elders to get things in place for the coronation? <laughs> my queen, um, I don't think you should bother yourself over this. Uh, it was your husband's request to put things in place for coronation. I see. Yes, my queen. You know, I've been married to my husband for years. I understand him perfectly well. I know when he's bothered, when something worries him, I know. And I know that there's something he's hiding, which you might be aware of. But since you're not ready to spill the beans, not to worry. I will find out what the problem is. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I do not have any meaningful information. But I do have a suggestion. Well, say it. I don't have all day with you. Osondo. Osondo is in a better position to get you this information. Osondo. What? The king's favorite guard? Yes, Your Highness. Thank you. Your Majesty, you sent for me. Osondo. The king's favorite guard, right? Yes, Your Majesty. Wait. Um. I actually need you to do me a favor. And I promise you, you will not regret it. You see, I want you to monitor the king for me. Find out for me everywhere he visits, what he discusses with Ono and where both of them visit together. Can you do that for me? Listen. I promise you, you will be paid handsomely for this. Can you do that for me? Yes, Your Majesty, I will. Good. Thank you. Thank you. You may leave now. Oh, wait, Your Majesty. Thank you. Your Majesty, Queen is becoming too curious to know what is going on. Yeah, I have a feeling that um, she's beginning to suspect. But what do we do? Nothing. We do nothing. Let's wait until I unravel everything. Uh, so how did your meeting with the elders go? <laughs> very well, very well. Everything is going in place. Fantastic. All right, bye. All right, bye. Oh, 
awesome dude. Why are you avoiding me? Oh, you know I like you so much. And I hate it when you avoid me. We well, you know you're in a public place, right? All us have eyes. Who cares? Mm, but there's something I want to ask you. Go ahead, feel free. What's, what's it? I want to know where the king sent you today. Oh, that? Yep. The king actually sent me to call on you. I think those two are hiding something that they don't want anybody to know about. It is always the case to whenever we visit Onoru. Even whenever we go to Onoru's place, it is always the same thing. He sent me out. Really? Yeah. Those two are hiding something. And the king is always looking troubled. And I hate seeing him in that mood. He's counting us. There is really more to this than meets the eyes. But trust me, I'm the king's personal guard. I will unravel whatever it is in this palace. It's okay. See you. Just like that? After putting me in this mood, you want to believe me just like that? Exhausted. Yeah, I called your office earlier. Okay. But they told me you, you had left the office a long time ago. Ah, yes, Daddy. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. I went to see a friend who is hospitalized. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, which of your friends? <sighs> Daddy, you don't know the person, okay? Mm. Let me go upstairs and freshen up. I'll be right back. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Is it a he? Or is she? Daddy, you don't know him. Okay. It's a he. Huh? It's better be a he. Because I can't wait to see my son-in-law. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay, this way you're driving at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll mm -hmm. bring you. You've heard me? Dad. So let me uh, we'll do it fast, yeah? Have you had something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or should I make something for us? No, now. Maybe later. Maybe later. later. Why not now? Let's let me make something for us. Let's do that later. All right, Daddy. Uh, let's do later. <laughs> okay, Daddy. I'll be upstairs. All right, okay. Just freshen up, right? Yeah, I'm coming right back. Yes, Daddy. What? Uh, whoa. Why are you giving me that look? Huh. I'm your father. I know. Uh huh. The you need father this one of the most prettiest girl in the whole world. I am the daughter <laughs> of the most richest and influential man in this town. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So proud to be your. Oh, father. yeah. <laughs> okay, daddy. No problem. Okay. You need a, you need a son in law, huh? Uh, yeah, I need it. Fast. Okay. Yeah. The throne wants to make Ibezim's daughter the queen. Okay. Now, how is that possible? Is Eze Bube at his age capable of marrying a maiden now and having a child? <laughs> Grandpa, to be sincere with you, I think. The king is too secretive. Like, why is he planning this? We are all confused here. <laughs> Your Majesty, what are you here by this time of the night, Your Majesty? I should be the one asking you that question. You should have been gone by now. Imagine I plan staying out tonight. 
but I noticed how moody you are recently. And I've been thinking of what to do to cheer you up, Your Majesty. Just you don't bother yourself. I'll be fine. Go back in. Are you sure, Your Majesty? Dance like this. I used to try small, small. Small, small. You know what? I am so happy about this. You know why? I can't remember when last I saw my beautiful, adorable Lolo smile and laugh like this. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, um, um, Your Majesty, should I give her a local dance from Inugu? You would like it? Of course, I'll dance with you. This one is strong. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Thank you. <laughs> oh no. I'm she sorry that we have to discuss this thing. Uh, it's something we need to discuss in our house. But now that we are here, I need to tell you. Something bigger than the cricket is about to invade the cricket. What can be bigger than a great masquerade like you? It's about King Gezebube. What about him? He came to my house yesterday asking for the hand of my daughter in marriage. Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this, this is not a laughing matter at all. Hey. It's not. Hmm. I'm laughing. Yes, I know. Uh, but it's a good news. If the throne wants to make your daughter the queen of our great king, then it's, it's fine. I imagine. Ah, so there's a gang up. How is it a good news? No, chief. The journey to the stream does not begin when the pot is filled, but when it's empty. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I know. I know, but that does not answer my question. <laughs> chief. You just told me that King Ezebube, asking for the hand of my daughter in marriage is a good news. How is it a good news? Chief. When you and I know that King Ezebube is about to retire as the king of uh, Ozobolo ancient kingdom. Chief, if the throne and the king decide to make your daughter 
the queen of our great kingdom. Then go and rejoice. Because you and I know that a king is a bube. He's an upright man. <laughs> and he cannot harm your daughter. Or you. I know it. I know he can't. I know, I know. But no but. Chief, go home. Go and eat. Drink, rejoice, for good news is coming your home. Eat and rejoice when I could not even sleep last night. I didn't sleep last night. So what, should, what are your plans for tomorrow? Okay, tomorrow morning I will be going for a meeting. But afterwards I am coming back home. Home, you mean my house? Of course. Alright. That means um, when I get back home tomorrow from work, I'll find a home. <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I want to spend the whole day with my man. I hope you still have your keys. Of course. They are right there on my table. Alright then. Uh, my wife will be coming tomorrow. Yes, so I don't want you in my house. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Okay, please. Then she has me to contend with. Because I don't share my man with anybody. So, let her know that. I am a typist when it comes to my mind. I love you, baby. I love you more. Alright. Good night. It's been a while. Hey, uh, oh no, uh, your majesty. I forgot to tell you that uh, I went to Chief Ibezem's house to. I already to... know, your majesty. Really? Yes. He came to me to confide in me for advice. Uh, excuse me. That plan of yours is not going to work in this house. Who the hell do you think you are? Now, let me tell you something. Polygamy is not going to happen here. And even if it would, it has to be decided upon by my husband and I. We agree on it, we plan it, and we execute it. Not get it executed by this, this home wrecker. Will you keep quiet? How dare you? How dare you insult the owner who of Ozobul Kingdom in my presence? Yeah. She's only a woman who thinks her right is to be stolen. Uh, it's okay. It's not okay. Does she need to express that by insulting me? I mean, should she disrespect me in public? Is that the way to express how she feels? I mean, embarrassing you in my presence is an insult to my person. No, 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 no. I will not take it. I will not. Where is this woman? Oh, my Majesty. What's on, do? 
Yes, Your Majesty. Did they discuss something this afternoon? Nothing serious, Your Majesty. It seems the king is planning for his retirement. Is that what he said? Yes, Your Majesty. Although they never went into details, they only mentioned it. I see. You may leave now. Yes, Your Majesty. My daughter, you know I had always wanted the best for you. You know it. That I used to think so. But it's obvious I've been wrong all these years. Huh? Yes. I mean, how could you look at me, your beautiful angel, and you want me to marry that old man that is of the same age with you? <laughs> Daddy, I can't. I will not do it. But, 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 but there's no but here, Daddy. There is no but. I mean, how did he even come up with this idea? I don't get it. Like, have you forgotten that this man is of the same age with you? That he is of the same age with you. He's an old man. No, I don't. Okay. Well, what would people think of me? His beautiful wife. What's she going to think of me? After all these years out of the country, only for me to come back to Nigeria and, and I'll end up marrying an old man. Daddy, I can't, I can't do it. I can't marry him. He's old enough to be my father. I, I understand, I understand. Stephanie, my daughter, you need to trust me on this. Ebube is a very good man. Oh, he's an old man. He's a very good man. But he's an old man. I know. You can't dispute that fact. I know. He is old. That he's an old man, the same age with you. And besides, I have a serious relationship. I have a date. I have someone I am in love with. I can't marry your friend. Please cut me some slack. I don't want to talk about this. Okay. I don't want to talk about it again. Why is she not here yet? I know she must be mad at me right now. Dad, good morning, sir. Good morning, my dear. Yes, thank you. Mm. I've been waiting for you at the dining for breakfast. I don't have the appetite for breakfast this morning. But I know how you feel. No, you don't. You don't know how I feel. You don't know what I feel. You don't know who I feel something for. No, you don't. I mean, you want me to quit a golden relationship that took me energy, time, and resources to build? A sweet relationship that I am happy to be in? To marry your, your friend, that old man, all in the name of marriage? No, father, I can't. I can't do it. Try to understand your father. I should understand you. Yet, it is very difficult for you to understand my feelings. Father, please. I don't have strength for long talks. I have a day to run. Excuse me.
Can you stop calling? I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't... I don't feel like talking to you. I don't want to talk to anyone. I'm not in the right frame of mind right now. Chris, please. I sound worried. I'm not worried. I am fine. Okay? But please, stop calling me. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Just stay clear. Stop calling. Please end the call. I don't want to... I am not going to end the call on you. You called me, so you end it yourself. Chris, please. Bye. I don't feel like talking. I'm not in the mood. Don't you understand? I'm sorry. Bye. Try, try. <laughs> Should I the food? I will feed myself some. <laughs> and I think you should give me the award of the best chef. Ah. Hmm? You have it, you have it, you have it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dad. You're yeah, welcome. Yes, sir. <clears throat> that reminds me. When you called earlier, you said you had something very important to talk to me about. Yes, son. <clears throat> and Dad. If it's about the girl I told you I wanted to get married to, you should forget about it. It's not going to work out. Really? Yes, father. I know you might have been hurt by that. Oh yes, I was. But I'm fine now. It's okay, it's okay. Um, you see, um, my son, Dad, I lied to you all these years, and I think it's the right time for me to take you to your dad. I mean, your father. You see, um, you have grown of, of age, and uh, I think you can handle any matter that comes your way now. So, I think this is the right time for me to do that. What are you talking about, Dad? I thought you said he was dead. No, I lied to you. And I I did that to keep you and the masses off. Eyes from the trials to know who you are. Yes. So all this years, you've been lying to me about my true identity. I did that song to protect you and to safeguard you for your own good. Protects me from what exactly, father? Protect me from what? My mom died when? When exactly? Son, whom you are is very important to us. And we are doing anything we are doing to keep you 
and also for you to free your destiny. All the tales you're telling me right now doesn't make sense to me. Who's my real dad? Why have you been keeping him away from me all these years? And why has he decided to come back at this time? Why? Just calm down. But soon, you'll find out. It's your fault. I'm not hungry anymore. I'm fine, Dad. Dad, I said I'm done, I'm fine. <sighs> uh -huh. Your Majesty, um, what about the message you sent? Have you received any reply? Or we are still waiting? Well, I'm still waiting. But I am quite optimistic that uh, I will get what I asked for. Okay, so in the meantime, uh, we need to start preparations for the ceremonies. And that is my retirement and um, the coronation of the new king. Your Majesty, you sound so confident. And what about if the messenger comes back with negative news? Oh no. Yeah, Your Majesty. Integrity is a great virtue that you cannot trade for any coin. And I believe, I'm quite sure, that uh, the tide will flow in my favor and that of the throne. Okay? Your so, Majesty. Don't worry. <laughs> Your Majesty. Yes. Because you see, I think I have to be on my way now. It's all right. It's all right. God is not a man. Tomorrow is deep. Even in a tunnel, if a chipulunya came a lily, I am a good deal. Things they happen, I am a. Hi. Good day, sir. Good day. Um, How may I help you? How may I help you, sir? I'm looking for Stephanie. Oh, my madam. Yes, uh, go inside. Tell Stephanie that Chris is here to see her. My madam is not at home. She left for work this morning. Uh, all right, what about her dad? Um, he left home this morning. He has never been back. When is your madam coming back from work? Um, by 5 p.m. 5 p.m. All right, this is 3.30 p.m. Um, it's almost 5. I'll just um, wait for her. Yeah. But come inside, Nasa. No, don't worry. I'll wait in the car. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing at my gate? What's going on with us, Dave? That doesn't answer my question. You have been avoiding my calls. What's the problem? What have I done wrong? 
Go home, I will call you. Babe, I need to know my offense. Chris, I have nothing to say. As you can see, I am so exhausted. I had a hectic day from work, okay? All I need right now is to go in, freshen up, eat something and rest. Babe, no, you need to talk to me right now. Go home, I said I'll call you tomorrow after work. Just go, please. Babe. What is the problem? Why are you like this? Dad. You yes. are... Hmm? You are all I have. Since mom's death. Hmm. I have no one else except you. You have been my support system. You have loved me from birth. Thank I don't, you. I don't want anything to hurt you. Thank you, my daughter. I'm so grateful. I am forgiving you. Hmm? I have, I have thought and, and I have decided to grant your request. Wow. Oh, my darling daughter. Thank you so much. I love you. I'm so grateful. Oh, no. <laughs> my daughter. Uh, you did this for me? <laughs> huh? You did this? God bless you. Thank you so much. I don't want you to get hurt. No one is going to come between us. Not even Chris. Chris? Is that his name? Yes, Daddy. <laughs> I love him so much. Hmm. I know he's he's seriously hurting right now by my actions. Hmm. I don't know how he's going to handle this. You don't worry. Hmm? He'll be fine. Just trust me. Okay? Trust me, trust me, my baby. I just hmm? pray he's... Trust me. Trust me. You'll be okay. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. 
Oh, I love you, I love you. I love you too, Daddy. You will not regret this at all. You will not. I promise you. Hmm? I promise you. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> She can't tell it on me. I love her with everything in me. I can never love again. But how did she do it? She just moved on. Like I never existed in my life. Um, he was close to my house when he noticed that his car tire went flat, so he decided to leave the message with me. That she has accepted it through. Exactly. Ah. <laughs> Look, Ono, mm -hmm. now that she has accepted the throne, we need to hasten up with the preparations. Exactly my thoughts. <laughs> you see the gods, eh? <laughs> They always lead us. Exactly. Yeah, because they are always with us. Yes. Yeah. Let's drink up. Yeah. Let's drink to this. Uh, Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Your Majesty. Oh, yes, uh, uh -huh. yeah. Elders of our land, I greet you. Thank you, Thank you Your Majesty. Majesty. <laughs> As you all know, the D Day is fast approaching. You know? And we are all looking forward to it, right? Um, I want to inform you that uh, I have done everything that is required of me. So we need to start making preparations towards the coronation and my retirement. You are all happy about that, right? <laughs> so we we all know what to do. We know. We okay? know. We know. Yes. We know. Good. It's your duke. We know. We know. Yes. Uh, you see, uh, everything will be done exactly the way we used to do them. The only difference, I mean, what we just need to tweak, is the chairmanship of the organizing committee. So I want to inform you that uh, the Ono who here is not going to be the chairman of the organizing committee. That means we should go ahead and nominate one. Exactly. I nominate Ichi a Godwin to handle it for us. Yeah, Ichi <laughs> You know how we usually get our chairman. <laughs> usually by voting. <laughs> still, like exactly. But Ichi a Godwin, no one is competing with you. Yes. I concur. I concur. No one <laughs> is competing <laughs> with you. Huh? Ichi Godwin. Don't tell me that you are developing cold feet. No, no, not at all. Aha. <laughs> you see, the gods are with us. Before you were nominated, the gods may have sanctioned it. Okay? Moreover, we are all going to support you, won't we? <laughs> we, we support you to succeed. Thank you, Your Majesty. All right. <laughs> Grandpa, why are you smiling? Ah, uh, the truth 
is about to be unveiled. The truth about to be unveiled. How? Yes. What truth are you talking about, Grandpa? The truth, my son. The truth. <laughs> Christopher, Dad, you have been like a son to me, and I've always loved you. His Royal Majesty, King Ezebube, Ezodenobi, is your biological father. What? Who is this young man? Um, my love, please calm down. Uh, I will explain everything to you. Don't tell me to calm down. You cheated on me after everything we had been through. Um, my queen, you know how much I love you. Oh, please. As a matter of fact, you know how much I love you. I, I, I couldn't bring myself to see you share me with another woman. Oh, really? You couldn't bring yourself? You had a child with another woman. A child I knew nothing about. And you, you sit here and tell me you loved me. You can't see me sh share you with another woman. Oh, you're such a liar. You're such a pathological liar. Please, like I said, calm down. Please sit down. I did what I did because I needed to preserve the name of my, my fathers and the throne. After you lost our baby during the accident, Dr. Murphy confirmed that you won't be able to get pregnant because your womb was adversely affected during the evacuation of the steel fetus. You and Dr. Murphy are liars. Liars you are! Majesty, the truth is, I know it's gonna hurt you. You and the queen need to know the truth. Talk to me. What is the problem? Uh -uh. During the time we evacuated the baby from the womb, 
there was a little complications that led to the damage of her womb. And that means that it will be impossible for her to conceive again. Are you trying to tell me that we can no longer have a child? Um, I need to take my leave now. Maybe I'll come back later to tell the queen my, the news myself. This will break her womb. It took her seven years before she was able to conceive. And if you still had this one, it will break her womb, please. You see, doctor, you just have to keep it a secret. Please, let's keep it a secret between me and you. I take my leave now. My queen. Look at the doctor's report. Go through it. Better still, call Dr. Murphy to confirm what I've just said. I, I didn't tell you because I didn't want to lose you. Who is his mother? Um, my love, if you recall, I went into deep depression months after you returned from the hospital until one day. My king, this might sound a little bit rude, but you know I am inquisitive in nature. Huh? And it's also going to be unfair if I don't tell you the truth. You know, as I've been my king, you are also my friend. In fact, you are more, you are more of a brother than a friend to me. Huh? Uh, recently, I noticed that you're, you're becoming a shadow of yourself. What is going on? What is happening? To be honest with you, I'm losing the throne. And you know, this has been in my family for centuries. Mm -hmm. And it will be a, shame, a shameful thing if it gets to my turn and I will not return it. It's giving me worries. My king, you can take a second wife. Take a second wife, a woman that will bear you children, boys and girls, a jima here and there. There are so many fertile women in the village that can do that for you. And at least a, 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 a child that will keep your family name, that will keep this, this, this crown in this family. And if she as well would like her. My kid, she's not supposed to know your every move now. I don't understand. Please, please, let this be a secret between us. She lost her womb during our childbirth. I don't want to say anything that would destroy her, please. Let's leave it this way. Uh, but, my king, you can take a concubine. Take a concubine so that she can offer one son, just one, that will keep your family name. Running, a son that will keep this crown you're wearing in this family. See, nobody has to know about this. I can arrange for it and we'll keep it a secret until the child becomes of age, and then we, we can tell anybody that cares to, 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 to know. That is a good idea, yeah. Your Majesty. Keeping your secret is not the problem. My problem is you abandoning me later in the future, myself and the kids, when your wife, the queen, eventually becomes pregnant for you. That is my only problem. You should not worry about that. <laughs> Such a thing will never happen. You know what? If we must do this thing, I will have to place your most in salary of 100,000. Then when you go pregnant, I will increase it to 200,000. Mm, well, that is okay, that's fine. You know, Uncle Agada is like a father to me, and trust me, I will do anything, anything for him. So, I'm okay with it. Okay. Your Majesty, are you leaving already? I'm sorry I will not. I did not tell my lord I was going to spend the night out. Okay, you know what? When next we meet, I promise you I'm going to spend the night with you. 
You promise? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. No, I'll be sending you some money so that you take care of yourself. Yeah? Some cash? Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. You already sent me money for my monthly upkeep, and I think that is okay for now. I'm okay with that. Okay. Sure? If I need anything. Brings you to my house by this hour of the day. I I heard that uh, you brought in a pregnant woman in your house, so <laughs> I came to check if it is in Kali or another maid. My king, it is in Kali. It is her. Let me go and call her. Let me call. Oh, my friend, I thought we agreed to keep her a secret. Why did you have to bring her to your house? My king, my king, you are the king, but there's just there's there's just so many things you don't understand. Eh? Sorry, this is don't don't take it to heart. Eh? The best place to hide something from someone is to hide it where they least expect to find it, and this house is that place. I don't understand you, my king. You going out on and off to see her. I mean, the possibility of people or even your servants finding out our little secret is very high now. But her staying here in my house, nobody will know. Nobody. You and I know very well that people don't even know her in this community. And again, I can be bringing her to the palace and I will introduce her as my niece. Nobody will suspect anything at all. You know, people will always want to know why my pregnant uh, niece is following me to the palace, but who cares? Well, Your Majesty, I think my uncle here is right. Staying here is a way of keeping people's mind off it. Nobody will suspect anything. Nobody even suspects I'm carrying your child. So I think it's a better option. Well, the idea is good. At least I will have her clothes. Uh -huh. So that I will be able to take care of her very well. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hope you're okay. Oh. My king, come in so that uh, we should offer you something. No, 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 no. You know what? I have to rush back to the palace yeah. before my absence is uh, noticed. Just take care of her. Thank you. Thank you.
place, my queen. I did what I did because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Please forgive me. I saw it. I saw the medical report from the doctor. About it, Ellen. <laughs> I was so happy because I was looking forward to you bringing in another wife. Somehow I knew you had some child out there. I really wanted to be there. Please, take me as your mom. <clears throat> My queen, <clears throat> he's now your son. Um, you know, Uncle died in his 15th birthday, and since then it has been only us. And um, I think I want him to experience the true love of a mother. Son? know what this means to me. Come. Thank you. Thank you. My son. My son. Um, I summoned this meeting to intimate you of the royal plan. Uh, the plan is to, to get married. That means we want your royal wedding and your coronation to be the crown prince to take place on the next Ekemake day. And um, before that, uh, she must come a day before a key market day for purification and certification. Uh, you know, it's a taboo for the groom to meet the bride before uh, the certification by the noble day purifier. Yeah. I don't understand. You want me to get married, yet you do not want me to meet with my bride before the wedding day. How's that even possible? Son, I know it sounds all strange, mm. but believe me, it would work. Same thing happened between the king and I. We never knew each other, but look at us. Our love story is the best love story that has ever been told in the palace. So I advise you to embrace yours. Maybe I just believe your story will be better than ours. And if you believe me and pray for it, I'm sure you will have a better one, better marriage. Son, Lola is right. You just need to do this, okay? Because uh, by the time I am gone, this throne will be yours, okay?
I should be asking you that question. My daughter, today is your day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you, darling. this new and why do we have to wait for her you sounded like she was so special no ah, cool she is the first wife of the royal family and she is the one that prepares the queen to the throne no one sets eyes on her no one does that she is so revered in the whole Ozubulu community. Because you remember when I told you about our first king? Yes, yes. Hey, given to us, eh? But Osebuluwa. Yes. She is the first wife. Oh. That means she must be very old and ancient. Well, I don't know about old age because you don't set eyes on her, <laughs> but she is. Revered in Azubu. You are the beauty that radiates everywhere. Shine, Akugo. Shine and let your beauty radiate. Your sunshine removes all the evil in the land. In the throne and every corner of our kingdom. Beauty of our time, let your sun shine. You are beautiful and tender. And that thy children, every evil in the life of your whole time, every entire people. Hey! I enjoy you. I enjoy you. I enjoy you. 
Let your beauty shine and radiate. Let your beauty shine and radiate. Let your beauty shine and radiate. And so shall the land radiate. And the tenderness of your beauty will overwhelm the throne. Shine, daughter of our kingdom. Shine, daughter of our kingdom. The beauty of our time. Shine, shine. Now, if Stephanie finishes the cleansing without saying a word, then it is said that she is ready to marry the king. That is tradition. Everything you do has to do with tradition. It is what has been given to us, Jose Bulua, as our tradition. This is, I mean, life is all about customs, strange things. But this is so strange. to fly high. I have done my own part. I'm waiting to hear the cry of the child. <laughs> Elders and people of Ozobo, may we proceed. By the powers conferred on me as the Ezemo, the spiritual head of this kingdom. King Ezebube, I hereby restore your crown, the symbol of authority, back to you. You may proceed. Azubulukwenu. Yes. Azubulukwenu. Yes. Azubulukwenu. Yes. Igwe. Igwe. I am very happy today. Oh no. Hmm? Your Majesty. Elders of our land. Igwe. I hereby present to you. The Crown Prince of Ozubuli Kingdom. Oh no! Go ahead. My elders, I greet you. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. My Prince, Neil. By the power invested on me as the Unu of 
this great kingdom. Oh, oh yes. I hereby crown you the crown prince of this kingdom, Ozobolo. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's the question. That's the question. That's the question. Uh huh. Lolo. Lolo. Mm. Okay, moi. Oh, dear Yako. Are on. Mm -hmm. We go out there, we will dance, we will eat, and we will drink. No. Oh, yeah. Mm. 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 Mm.
So, my son, I believe you now know that love has a way of finding us. The energy of love is a cycle. And until you find the center, love is not complete. Grandpa, I must thank you. My coming here and staying here with you this night is a great eye opener for me. I've learned a lot about King, Eze mm. the Lolo, Stephanie, Chris. <laughs> now I can gladly go and work on my projects on the topic love accomplishment. And Grandpa, believe me, this one. I must do something great. I'm doing something great. My son, Azubulu land will aid and bless you. Thank you, Papa. Go there and tell them that in Azubulu, we live in peace, we love each other. Thank you, sir. Go and do your project. All right, sir. You will accomplish it. But it's getting late. Are you not going to sleep? It's neat already. Don't worry, you go ahead. I will join you soon. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Go on and excel. Azubu the land will bless you. Thank you, sir. Yes.